Hello, I just want to start off this video by saying that um, this is just um, stories, um, like explanation of my own experiences and it doesn't like represent what all of the people, all of the trans people or people in general here in Finland feel. This is just how I feel about things and how the things are. So hi, I'm Jimmy and I am a FTM female to male transgender person. I have talked about being a transgender before uh, here in my channel, but I'm not, I haven't brought it up uh, again since. Like, being a transgender here in Finland is... Um, pretty easy and okay until you actually start to do something about it like how you feel and if you want to do something with yourself if you want to change your name or do anything like that then it gets really fucking complicated well the finnish um healthcare isn't really educated um especially here in the north about trans people and some doctors still uh, treat it as like a mental illness. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't speak. I'm really sick. I've been sick for the past few weeks. Well, if it so happens that you actually manage to like get sent to the trans clinic, um, the two places where you can go is in Tampere. And in Helsinki, I went to the um, one in Tampere. Uh, it was in the youth department. <laughs> the process there, especially if you're under 18, is pretty long. And it is really mentally exhausting, especially if you have to travel across the whole country. And. Um, uh, I do understand that it's like you have to rule out any other things that might affect your mood or things like that, but still, because at the end, uh, when uh, all the tests went well, all the like the conversations with the doctors and the therapists and such, they went really well, and they told me that okay, things are looking good, but. Then, uh, a year later, I had turned 18, um, I went there uh, for like the last like wrap-up and um, there were two doctors, then there was me and there was my parents. We sat down and the thing the doctors told me was that everything is otherwise fine but I am not transgender enough. That was the end of it. So um, that experience caused me to become more depressed and it just... things just started falling apart in my life in so many ways. Um, then finally one day I decided to message the doctor who gave me the statement and like she just told me to like yeah keep living your life and do the things that make you happy and make you feel good and make you feel like yourself i was just there like well i'm trying to why the hell did i go there why did why the hell did i go to the fucking clinic if i didn't want to be myself i am trying to but you're not letting me and you're just giving me these bullshit excuses like I'm not transgender enough. I think it, the thing is like, um, they want to hear certain things and they want you to, uh, well, if, you, if you're if you trans male, most likely they want you to act like, actually act and look like a dude. You can't just be yourself for real. You can't act uh, feminine at all because, well, I am a really feminine dude. I am a dude, but that's not how it works here in Finland. You can be like that. You have to be like 
you have to be a certain type of you have to look a certain way and act a certain way so that you can get through the whole process i have to i had to wait a whole year so that i could send like a letter there again that hey i'm transgender i want to get treated uh, i did not send another letter a year later because um other things came up and i'm actually like feeling pretty okay i mean like in my uh, current state like i just want to get my name changed and my gender changed legally sometimes explaining to people why am i called jimmy and not my birth name, or why am I a he and not a she, and uh, it's just part of being different, but sometimes it gets really tiresome when people still question you after you explain, especially if it's your relatives or family or people close to you. It makes you question yourself sometimes, like, come on. <laughs> Especially if you're that type of people who needs others around you. And I, I do need people around me. I mean, I, I need friends. If you don't physically pass as the gender you identify as, you have to explain to people. Like, why, why are you dressing a certain way? Or why you use this type of name? Or anything like that. But it, sometimes it gets really annoying. Finland's trans law is a huge, huge insult to human rights and your body's immunity. <laughs> if that that's the right word for it, I don't, I couldn't find any better word for it. But yeah, basically here in Finland, you have to be sterile, so you're not allowed to have kids. Um, if you want to get your name and gender legally changed and you also have to like have two statesmen, statements from a doctor or a psychotherapist that uh, actually agree that okay this person is actually serious and they actually are a transgender and not just whatever that the rest of your life actually the rest of your fucking life can like be in the hands of some random stranger who doesn't even know you. They don't know what you've been through. They they don't know what you want in your life or what you need for real. And I'm mad about it because why? <sighs> Fuck. EU has stated to Finland a couple of times that the trans law here should be changed. But, um, Finland has just brushed it off, like, like, oh, yeah, we already gave the gays and queers the privilege to get married, like, what the fuck do you want? What, what more do you want? We already gave them that. Like, that should be enough. But it's not. It's not enough. But I wish at some point, at least here in Finland, things would get better. At the end here, I just... I don't know if any of my friends or family are going to see this, but still, um, uh, I want to thank my boyfriend, who has been such an awesome and precious human being, and he has always managed to make me feel good about myself when no one else can, and he has helped me to enjoy the small things in life that I couldn't enjoy on my own. I want to thank my friends, um, especially my bestie right there. If you see this, you know who you are. I love you. And um, lastly, I want to thank my family, those who have actually been with me all the way and who have supported me. You know who you are. I love you, little brother. <laughs> if you ever see this, <laughs> yeah.
You especially, you've been there in your own way. <laughs> yeah, um, I hope you have a nice week and I will see you in the next video.